has told the High Court in Pretoria that he found a black man with blood on his head, blood on the floor, wearing only a red T-shirt, socks and underpants in a cell in Daverton Police holding cells when he was called there on the evening of the 26th of February 2013. Mboneni Ramadwa is testifying in the case against nine former police officers implicated in the murder of the Mozambican taxi driver Mido Marcia. Ramadwa told the court that he immediately started with his investigations. Now for the latest on the court case, uh, we are joined on the line by our reporter Criselda Lewis uh, inside the North Gauteng High Court in Pretoria. Uh, Criselda, a very good afternoon and can you tell us, we believe that the case has been postponed until Tuesday, why the postponement? Well, Albus, very good morning to you. Just to bring you up to speed with the latest, that the case has been postponed to Monday to allow for the defence to prepare for cross-examination, certainly very chilling details that emerged in the North Gauteng High Court this morning. You would recall that uh, Dr. Solis Kosana, who conducted a post-mortem on Mido Marcia, testified in court this morning, giving really graphic details of what he found when he conducted that post-mortem. Essentially, what Dr. Kosana is saying is that Mido Marcia died as a result of extensive injuries uh, to the soft tissue and uh, a blunt force on the brain and that those injuries had led to a lack of oxygen and uh, certainly uh, graphic details about uh, some of the other injuries that he sustained. Essentially, uh, what we heard inside this court this morning is that Mero Marcia had sustained injuries basically from head to toe uh, as a result of the dragging incident back in uh, 2013. So the cross-examination of uh, Dr. Skosana is expected uh, possibly to start on Monday, but we'll hear on Monday. The provisional um, uh, postponement is for Monday, but we might continue on Tuesday. We'll wait to see on Monday which way uh, this does go, but certainly chilling details that emerged uh, inside uh, this court uh, this morning. There was also the testimony of uh, the uh, investigative uh, or independent police investigators, the director investigator, who was told the High Court in Pretoria that he found a black man with blood on his head and blood on the floor wearing only a red T-shirt. Now, if we look at that, how significant was his testimony? Well, Alvis, I'm really struggling to hear you at this stage. There's a bit of a bit of an echo there, but if I, if I heard you correctly, yes, earlier there was uh, one of the investigators from the Independent Police Investigative Directorate uh, who did testify, essentially saying that uh, when he was called uh, to the scene uh, in the evening uh, of uh, the day of the incident, he found uh, that Mido Marcia was lying inside the cell he was facing up and that there had been uh, some blood that had been on the walls and also on the floor next to Mido Marcia and also that there'd been blood on his head as well. So uh, that was one of the investigators who had attended to the scene on that evening. So really, essentially what we will see in cross-examination now is that the defense will try and poke some holes into the testimony that Dr. Solis Kosana gave inside this court this morning and really trying to establish what uh, indeed could have led to the, to the death of Mido Marcia back in 2013. The family of, uh, of Mido's, uh, was, were they in court this morning and uh, how are they holding up? Elvis, I'm really struggling to hear you. There's quite a number of voices in my ear, but uh, mm -hmm. uh, regarding the family, I spoke to the family this morning. They are in Daverton uh, at the moment, and they've been struggling uh, to get a transport, I understand, to come to court this morning. But, you know, in the constant consultation and uh, interviews that we've had with Miro Marcia's family, they're really distraught. They've been distraught since 2013 over what happened at the Daverton taxi rank. What they're still continuing to say is that they want justice in this particular matter. You would know that SABC News conducted an exclusive interview with Miro Marcia's mother, who is in Mozambique, and she was crying. She was inconsolable, where she said that she just wants this trial to come to an end. She just wants justice for her son, and that, you know, every time this court case sits, 
she would try to get information from some of the friends and family who are in Johannesburg. And every time that reopens those wounds, she says that uh, Middle Marcia was their breadwinner and life has been very difficult without him. He was the one who put food on the table, you know, making comparisons also to Middle Marcia's son, saying that Middle Marcia's son, you can see even in his early age, uh, you know, is following the footsteps of his late father uh, in showing concern for the family and also they're hoping that there would be some kind of finality to this case very soon. We heard yesterday when we spoke to the state, they said that, look, these proceedings are unlikely to last more than three weeks. So certainly it remains to be seen uh, how the case continues either on Monday or on Tuesday. That's our reporter from the North Gauteng High Court in Pretoria, Criselda Lewis, giving us an update. Uh, we do apologize for that connection there, Criselda, but thank you so much for giving us that update. And, as, and a correction there, of course, she indicated that it will, the case will continue on Monday and not on Tuesday, as we earlier reported. So Monday morning it will get underway.